Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Farouk. We're gonna do the first OMM exam diagnosis for shoulder problems. So first thing when you do walk in that room, just wash your hands. I'm gonna pretend I wash my hands. Don't forget to wash your hands and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Farouk. Hi, Doc. What's your name? My name is Lege. Nice, can you let you? I heard you have some shoulder problems today? Yes, I do. Your right shoulder hurts? Yes, it does. It hurts. Okay, I'm going to just check you to see um, if there are other problems causing this shoulder pain or anything contributing to it, okay? Okay. All right, I just want you to flex your head here, bring it down, okay, and arch to the back, okay, I want you to side bend to the right, okay, and to the left, okay, I want you to look to the right, rotate, okay, and to the left. Okay, so this was checking active and passive motion for the cervical vertebrae. Now I'm going to palpate the cervical vertebrae. Tell me if this hurts. Okay, that hurts. Okay. How about this? Yeah, it hurts on the left. Okay. And here? Yeah, it hurts like down the left. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we just checked the cervical vertebrae. Um, I want you to put your arms in front of you. I'm going to check your thoracic. I'm going to check your back, okay? All right. I want you to flex to the front. Okay, so that's, that's um, active and then passive. All right, and arch your back to the back, and okay. I want you to side bend to the right, okay, and to the left, okay. I want you to turn to the right, okay, and to the left, okay. Um, I want you to turn to the back so I can check your thoracic vertebrae. Okay, so we palpate. Remember, the doctor Chanel said palpate like you're really palpating. Don't just touch. So does this hurt? Yeah, it hurts to the right. Okay. How about this? Yeah, that hurts on the right. Okay. Here? Yeah, on the left. Okay. I'm also going to check his um, first and second rib. Take a deep breath. And another deep breath. And since I'm behind him, I'm going to check his pectorals. Um, I'm just going to take his arm, extend it to the back. Okay. And the other arm. Okay, all right, turn back. Now I'm gonna check range of motion and strength for his upper body, his shoulder muscles. I want you to um, flex your arms all the way up. Okay, so that's active. I want you to bring them down. That's extension all the way back. Okay, I want you to AB duct all the way up, passive and uh, active and bring it down. Okay, that's AB duct. I want you to touch your arms like this. That pull this muscle into internal rotation, this shoulder into internal rotation, and this shoulder into external rotation, and switch. Okay, I'm supposed to be in the back looking. All right, now I want, I'm gonna do that for him, so that's gonna be the passive part. I'm gonna um, flex, I should just do it one at a time. I'm gonna flex and extend. Okay, I'm gonna flex and extend. Okay, I'm gonna AB duct and AB duct, AB duct and AB duct and internal rotation. Put that motion again, please. And just try to exaggerate it, push on it. Okay, and switch. Okay. So now I'm gonna check his strength for those muscles that we just did the range of motion for. So I want you to put um put your arms in front of you like this. Okay, don't let me push you down. So this is checking AB duction. Don't let me push you up. This is checking AD duction. Now put your arms in front of you. Don't let me push you down. That's checking flexion. And don't let me push you up. That's checking extension. Now I want you to put your arms by your side. Okay, don't let me push it out. That's internal rotation. And don't let me push you in. That's external rotation. To the other side. Don't let me push you in. That's external rotation. Don't let me push you out. That's internal rotation. Okay. Now there's something called, um, they call it the empty can test, that's for your supraspinatus. So I just want you to put your arm in front of you. And don't let me push you down. Okay. All right. That's for supraspinatus muscle. Now I'm gonna check his um, flexion. I want you to flex your arms. Okay, and extend them. Okay, relax, let me do that for you. That's that that's part. Okay, um, I want you to put your arms in front of you and supinate and pronate. Okay, let me do that for you, just relax. Supinate and pronate, relax. Pronate, supinate, okay. Now I'm gonna check your wrists. Um, just hold them in front of you. They want you to, they want you to flex them and extend them. 
and internal rotate and external rotate. That's also known as um, radio and ulnar deviation. Okay, so let me check your um, let me check your strength now for all these motions. Hold your arms in front of you. So don't let me bring them out. So he's checking. This is checking strength of flexion. Don't let me push you in. That's checking for extension. Relax your arms. Don't let me don't let me supinate you. So that's checking for pronation. And don't let me pronate you. That's checking for supination. Same thing on this arm. And don't let me. Okay. Now let me check the strength on your wrists. Don't. Okay. Just put them in front of you. Don't let me bring them back. That's checking flexion. Don't let me bring them forward. That's checking extension. Now put them in radial deviation. Don't let me bring them out. And the other side. Okay. Now we check the strength. Did we check the supination um, sup pronation strength? Yes. Let's do that. Did we check the strength? Yes. Okay. So we did that. Now we have to sensation, the sensory and the reflexes. So let me check by C5. Do you feel that? Yes, I do. Okay. C6. Yes. C7. Yes. And T1. Yes. Okay. And this also T1. Yes. Okay. C8 and T1. Okay. Now let's check for your tendons. Um, tendons are bicep to C5, brachioradialis to C6, and tricep to C7. So we have to check them on both sides. So I like to start in the bicep. Let's arm. Vestibular tendon. Okay. And just relax. Okay, and tricep, okay, same thing on the other side, okay, relax your arm, okay, and relax, relax, okay, and that's it for the, the front, now we have to lay him down to check his, um, the lower part of the ribs, and we also have to do this actual shoulder exam, the Spencer test. So I just want you to lay down. Did I forget anything? No. Okay, lay down, please. Okay, so we checked trips one and two when he was standing, um, sitting up. So I'm just gonna ask him to take a deep breath to check the lower ribs. And another deep breath. Okay. So we also have to check the clavicles. So first we'll just update the clavicles. Okay, you can um, check for a deduction, a deduction. You can check for flexion and extension. Um, but I think what their main concern was the actual internal rotation, external rotation. So just check each side. Okay, and the other side. And you feel for the clavicle while you do this. Okay. Now the most important part is the Spencer test to check for his shoulder. Now he came in with the right shoulder pain. We're going to pretend it was the left because I want him to be on his right side. So just lay down on your right side. Okay. So we are changing the right side. So Spencer test is very easy. Um, you first just make sure you. Okay, place your hand on the shoulder, actual joint, so you can feel for the motions. Um, first thing you put in is extension, and then flexion. Okay, then you're gonna do, oh, sorry, abduction, adduction. Actually, I forgot the circumduction. Um, small cone, remember small cone for you, that's circumduction with, um, with force, and there's circumduction with retraction. And then you do the um, abduction, adduction, and then internal rotation, okay. and then the scapular retraction, and that's it. So just because I mixed that up, you're gonna start extension, flexion, circumduction, small circle with force, and then big circles with attraction, and then you're gonna do abduction, adduction internal rotation, and you're going to finish with the retraction of the scapula. And that's it. Our exam is done.